good evening everybody welcome to Leach's place and so happy to see you all here today I'm woman international master Rucha Pujari from India and it's a very pleasant evening here it's 8 p.m. and I'm very excited to be part of this today and I'm looking forward to play against the weavers and accept challenges hello guys hello a big warm hello to people all in Twitch channel of Leeches and also on the YouTube channel. Yes, let's do this guys, let's do this. Greetings to everybody, I hope you are all doing great and uh, having a wonderful day today. So I will be accepting challenges soon and uh, the preferred time control that I'm looking for is uh, 3 plus 0 and 1 plus 0 casual games only. So if you have already sent me a different time control Please change it and send me again. And uh, be patient, I will try to play as many games as I can. But uh, right now I almost have over a hundred challenges, guys. I already have more than hundred challenges right now. Yes, I'm also a streamer. I stream on my Twitch. Uh, you can visit it, it's RuChess27 and uh, you are welcome there too. So let's get the party started, let's get the party started and let's start accepting challenges right now. Why 27? Because uh, 2 July is my birthday. Uh, my username on Leechess is ruechess 27 as you can see above there on the stream, that's the username. And you can also find um, on the home page of Leeches right now, it is featured on the left side. So uh, today, as I have uh, more than 100 challenges right now, I will be choosing challenges at random, guys. But 3 plus 0 and, uh, and 1 plus 0. Okay, good luck. Only play one move d4. One second, one second. Um, one second, guys. Good luck only play one move d4 <laughs> and you start the game with e4. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> Alright, so we are going into the Italian game. So bishop c4 is the Italian game also called as Gioco Piano. Let's go d6. Hello, hello guys. Good to see you all in the chat. <laughs> we are starting from Italian. Hello from Italy. <laughs> Let's play the main line of, of the Italian game. And it is also now similar to the Roy Lopez system because you play a6, b5, c5 and so on. Go bishop b7. That's interesting. I'm just gonna go back now, knight c6, because I don't want to give the square to the bishop. a4. That's uh, that's a good move. b4. Trying to keep the position closed so far. So the, one of the general maneuvers of the Italian game is bishop f8, g6 and bishop g7. I want to 
play d5 but then my c5 pawn is not defended here okay let's play g6 anyway take this now bishop g5 can be a bit annoying here bishop g5 can be annoying I have knight d7 or knight h5 here. Both are interesting. Both are interesting. Hmm. Let's go knight h5. So, um, advice on openings, the best um, is that first of all, Try to understand your playing style and then try to find your openings that suit you. So don't be scared to try different openings in the beginning. Now I have to play fast. I'm down to one minute now. So first I need to warm up a little bit. <laughs> Okay, let's take, get the rook in the game, d7, this is fine so far, let's play more active, let's play more active, I even win with first move a3, <laughs> you must be a very strong player. my position because um, white did had advantage I believe before okay let's keep the bishop on a8 knight f4 very strong knight now on f4 and it's an outpost now so maybe white can sacrifice the rook here let's see um, now let's attack attack there on d3 And uh, I will try to play king g7 so that the pawn is no more pinned and I can finally think about playing f6, b5. I know I can go after knight e2 and c3 pawn but I don't want to move the knight from the f file because then so far my f7 is not defended. So I need to do something about f7 first. White should go here maybe knight b3. Try to attack c5. To get the knight back in the game. I was looking for knight b3 attack on c5, but that's all right. Now knight c5, rook e6. Now rook f4 is very interesting. I missed this. He can go for rook f4. Yes, he found it. He found it. Well done. Well done. I'm trying to go for this, but um, there is there is um, bishop a6, bishop a6 there. Now I can finally play bishop e4. Now this rook and game looks quite promising to me. You want to go into pawn and game? Why so? This pawn and game is just uh, winning for black. Shouldn't have gone into pawn in game, guys. Okay, Chi thank you for the game. And this was a tough game. This was a tough fight by only, only play one move before. Well done. In the middle game, you had a good position, but um, I think exchange of the queens on f2 was not necessary and you had an attack on the king side so it would be a good idea to keep the pieces on the board so that you can create some pawn storm on the king side and generate some attack there yes so if you're asking about the time control um, i'm looking for three plus zero and one plus zero so let's mix it up with some blitz and bullet
Okay, let's go next game. Yes, you can use the command exclamation challenge to um, send me challenge or just um, find me on leeches and challenge me. I will try to go a bit down so that I find... Oh, let's play one plus zero. Good luck, Harrison. Good luck. I like to play bullet also. But here, be careful with pre moves, especially in the opening. <laughs> All right, long castling, very, very sharp game, very sharp game. Now the attack will roll on both the sides. So whenever there is a long castling, you should try to generate um, quickly, very quickly attack on on the other sides. Okay, c4 takes this, maybe a check, it's okay, it's okay in bullet. Oh, he went for king b8, <laughs> I was thinking bishop takes d6, but it's still, um, I think queen f3 was much better, but it's okay. GG, thank you Harrison. Yeah, it's okay in bullet. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Oh wow, I have some correspondence games. <laughs> I'm not going to play correspondence games right now. It will take forever. Good luck, draw by force. Uh, my name on leeches is ruches27. Go, 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 go. That was good, that was good. Good move. Like d5 would be a strong move there. For black. Let's exchange some pieces. So far, the game is equal. Very good play by draw by force. And also he's keeping um, a nice time management there. Okay, this is a bit... I need to be careful here because there can be some h6, f6. Okay, this, maybe 8-6, try to create some mate threats there, and that's a mate. Okay, thank you, draw by force. Good luck, Fierce Dragon Trainer. Fierce Dragon Trainer. <laughs> nice name. Another Italian game is here. Another Italian game. Oh, he let me double those pawns. I'm going to h3 now. Takes this. Let's move the king, knight h5. Also, defense g7. And now I'm going for f5 here. f5. Take this. Take this. Oh, you're being very generous today.
I want to have a checkmate. I'm looking for a checkmate, not just material. Okay, thank you for the game. I'm from India, guys. That was a GG. Let's not mix it up with some 3 plus 0. Good luck, Earl with Wyndham. Club defense. Let's play the action club. Even though this is a very symmetric bond structure, as you can see, um, it's also quite interesting and not as equal because um, sometimes, as you know, Slav can get to really sharp positions. Because uh, there is always a chance to attack the b7 or the b2 pawn here. Hello, greetings. Um, E3. I can see many Indians in the chat. Hello, guys. Welcome, welcome. Maybe knight e5. Let's put some pressure on on d7, and let's follow up with queen a4, so that um, it can be very annoying to play castling can be very annoying to play castling, maybe a6, and here you are just um, dropping the piece there. Yes. Let's uh, first play castling and uh, then try to get the bishop back. Otherwise, okay, good for me actually because you're just helping me trade that piece. Let's go, let's go. We are a piece up, so... When you have extra material, just try to play simple chess. Keep it simple. Don't try to complicate much. And uh, the game is yours. But also very important is that um, I see this a uh, very common uh, in all of us that when we have extra material we tend to relax a bit and that's where the blunders creep in so it's important not to relax until the game is over when did you start playing chess well i started um when i was six years old so i won my first national championship when i was seven years old to be careful with my back rank, I just noticed, guys. I just noticed that my back rank is not saved. It would be terrible if I lose on a back rank mid in this case. Especially when I'm advising <laughs> not to relax. not make a pass pawn for black and then we can always return back to f8 okay i like to play end games so end games um, i really enjoy playing And you should also, guys, if you really want to improve chess, it's a good idea to to learn um, to learn end games. Okay, GG. Thank you.
Okay, let's continue. Thank you, guys. Um, good luck, Dario. We'll let, we'll let. So as I said, guys, uh, don't write in the chat to accept because I have a lot of challenges I'm selecting at random. Another long castling here. Another long castling. Let's have a pawn storm. Let's have a pawn storm. Oh, this is not defended. Black is also going for it. Black is also going for it. Mm, now this is a bit tricky, which one to take. Hello. Good luck, Nightingale. Yes, I'm a streamer. I'm a streamer on Twitch. And recently I made a partner, so so it's it's going well. It's going well. Um, knight f6, castling, bishop e7. So this is the main line, and uh, we play b5, d6, then short castling. And here, a black has two main moves that is knight a5, which is the uh, classical system in the roll office, and then there is knight b8, which is the brayer variation. Okay, bishop b7. Thank you, Dirk. And the idea of knight b8 is to go back to d7, where the knight can defend uh, e5. Okay, let's play normal. So these are the two typical maneuvers. For white it is to get the knight to d2, f1 and g3. And for black it's to get rook e8, bishop f8, followed by g6 and bishop g7, this way. So let's kick this bishop first. Yeah, bishop um, d2 is only move because bishop e3, then I can take this and this pawn is under attack. Okay, so b4, interesting, stopping me from playing c5 right now. But I still played, so let's see. Let's, let's go c5 anyway. Take, take. And both of my pawns are defended. And uh, I'm going c4 because I want to get my knight to c5. This is a strong square for the knight. But a white does have a potential passed pawn here. So which side to take? Let's take with bishop. Okay, so far so good for both of both of us. Queen Fa looks very active. Yes, Queen B4. Nice, nice move. Now I can take, but then that gives away my outpost. But still let me actually try to play for the B4 weakness. So I'm playing for this weakness now. Rook b1 only move, um, rook c8, and now let me think how to use these two pieces, because so far that are, they are not doing much. Mm -hmm. Maybe knight b6, knight a4, but that will be captured. So I don't see a good square for the knight, so let's first protect f6 and then we can uh, probably move the knight. Okay, need to be fast now, need to be fast. King f7. Still not a good square for for my minor pieces yet. I will 
will just take it slow because his rook and the bishop are um, not able to move right now. So let's try to use that in some way. Let's yeah, let's use this. Um, this is a free. No, it's not. Okay. Takes and knight takes. F4 and F5. I don't like so much for for him. Okay, go go go. So far, he's doing very well. Keep it going. Keep it going. Um, maybe c3, but it's it will be a weakness later. I'm worried about my minor pieces here. Yeah, now b5 is not defended, but I'm going for g3 there. Unfortunately, there is no mate there. Unfortunately, all right, I did not see any mate. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Now I'm in some trouble here. Now I'm in some trouble here. Okay, that was close one. That was close one. Yeah, I think I missed some some uh, tactics in the end, but I was feeling the heat of time pressure there. But of course, he was playing for the time. That's why. But GG, good game. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. I, I have actually two uh, norms, two WGM norms, so I am um, training to finish my last norm so that I become WGM soon. And also waiting for tournaments to start again. That's more important because um, my last tournament was last year and it's been one year. I'm not able to play or travel. But uh, it's, I, I'm not complaining because situation is so bad everywhere in the world. Um, I'm just um trying to be safe and uh, not think about it right now let's see if there is any bullet here let's see bullet okay good luck um i'm i'm already a w i am but no not i am norms i have two wgm norms So this is a very safe way to play in bullet because g3 bishop g2 you don't um get into any any anything sharp very quickly in the game and you can play for an interesting middle game okay let's get the rooks in the game just activate the pieces keep going this is a bit um Okay, takes knight f3. Oh no, I don't like to move the knight. Now e3 is a bit in danger, e3 is a bit in danger, maybe let's just defend this. Take everything and... Um, hmm. 
I would prefer black now. I would prefer black. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, GG. Thank you for the game. That was also a close one. <laughs> Two seconds and three seconds in the end. <laughs> okay, good luck, Taranga. Are you here with us? Let's wait a um, few minutes or then we go on to next one. By the way, I, I hope you're enjoying the music. A very nice guitar going in the background. Let's give, let's give a few minutes because I know you are all waiting and um, let's not just quickly abort, maybe. Let's give a few minutes and then we'll abort. I will be here at least two hours on, on leeches, accepting challenges. Yeah, let's, let's be nice. <laughs> because um, I know you are waiting to play. move on to next one. I'm sorry, Taranga. I want 3 plus 0. Oh. Good luck, Zoomer. Yes, he's here. Good luck. Let's go. So this is the King's, King's Indian from white side. Knight c6. Okay, I know that white goes for e5 and then tries to play bishop f4, h4 and so on. Reiti, yeah. <laughs> Smash those pieces. Mm, how about I go D4 here? Because I see white wants to play D4. So I can go D4, then takes, maybe C D4. I just don't want it to become a weakness later. As long as I can defend it, it's okay. Hello, those who are joining us right now. Hello. All right, B3 makes sense. B3 makes sense. Okay, so now E5 and D4 both are weakness for both of us. Maybe let's go a5 and bishop c5. Eventually I want to get one of my knights to d5. That's that's the plan. I 
and I played a5 because then the bishop can always drop back to a7 or b6. And also it stops some ideas of expansion with a3, b4. This is interesting. Look at that. Very aggressive play by white. Queen c7 or queen b6. Or f5, f5. Hello, hello, Fernali. Mm, so now the rook is moved. And uh, what to do next? Maybe knight d5, but then the again rook goes back. Let's see what he wants. Now we need to get the queen side. Yeah, he will try to repeat. I thought so. Let me go back and change my plan. Yes, I thought so. Hello, GM Victor. Knight c4. I suppose it's okay. We can play bishop g4. Now finally my queen side would be developed. E D e4 I don't like for white. I think that's not good for white. Because now you see my d4 pawn becomes very strong. And, uh, okay, now this is a free piece, maybe. There is still rook c2. So, there is still rook c2 here. Rook c2 still gets the piece back. Um, he missed it there. He missed it there. Okay, now I'm a piece up and a very good uh, position also, and also good in time. I'm thinking about d3 there. d3, yes. Okay, thank you for the game, Zoomer. So, a preferred time control is 3 plus 0 and 1 plus 0 casual games. So, other, um, other challenges I'm not accepting right now. Let's play 1 plus 0. Good luck, Spain Aleph. Okay, go, go, go. So far, he's playing very good. Um, but now knight c6 falls into some tactics there, but still there is some compensation. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Bishop f3, bishop f3. This is not good. Voluntarily trapped the piece there.
It's okay, I see rook c4, but I can take on d5. This is good. Let's create a pass pawn there. Followed by rook d3, get another defense there. Oh, e6. Oh, no. I made a blunder, guys. I made a terrible, terrible blunder. Oh no, I lost on time. I did not realize I lost on time. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Good game, Spinalis. Good game. Yeah. That was dirty flagging. <laughs> oh no. He was too fast in the end. Too fast. <laughs> GG. Good luck, Lozo. That was that was cool. That was cool. Scotch Kim, there we go. Mm, but I will not accept the gambit. I will try to play solid game here. Uh, CD4 is not the best. Of course, White has to take their ED5. Good game, Spinalip. Good game. Um, Queen D4. How does one become an NM in India? Um, in India, we don't have the title NM. Hello, Alex. A yeah, knight capture E4 would be very strong. I mean, it's possible to play knight capture E4 there. Let's let's not let him play castle peacefully. Let's play e3 just to um, stop g1. Find all the ways to make your opponents uncomfortable there. You can hear me well, right, guys? Just confirm. Hello, Prithvi. Hello, Kangwa. Yes, this is now quite uncomfortable position for white because the king is in the center and um, now it's not easy to complete the development. Maybe some knight move. Yeah, knight move. This is this is good actually. This is good. Hmm. I have only queen b6 left. Or queen d4. I'm two pawns up. Maybe queen d4 isn't isn't the worst, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> Video is even better. Uh, if I take with the queen, I don't particularly like knight b5. So that's why I'm taking with the pawn, even though this um, ruins my pawn structure. Because even my king is in the center. Hello, Divya. I like when my opponents think and take time.
Now knight to b5 um, can be a threat, so let's play bishop c5 to have queen f2 possibility. Okay, so now knight b5 still exists. Hmm. Maybe just play bishop b6 to guard it. I'm from India. I'm from India. So finally, both the kings are castled on the queen side. No more in the center. <laughs> Okay, maybe let's take this, bishop a2. And uh, that was a blunder, Lozo B. Thank you for the game. King a1 was necessary, but even then, um, I think I would have just played queen e4. And um, if king a1, I would have just played queen e4, takes maybe bishop b3 and uh, knight c2. And it's a big advantage for black. Good luck, Rudips. Yes, I'm playing Weavers right now. I'm accepting challenges. Naruto, I think I'd already told you that um, NM is not uh, a title in India, so... Rudips, are you here? Yes, let's go, good luck. Knights. Four knights gotch, okay. This is a very interesting opening to play. Um, takes for both sides. And this leads to quite a positional game. Hello Anu. <laughs> Bishop g5 is the main move there. Bishop g5 followed by queen f3 and so on. So white should actually keep the dark square bishop there in this line. When you're in doubt, just try to develop pieces. And also wait what your opponent is doing so that it can help you what to do next. I want to get c4 some way, so maybe this. And then idea of c4. Oh, wait one second. So far a very good game by Rudit. Now we are going into a very equal end game. Very equal end game. I want to play d4. But um, c3 would be followed. So let's again uh, move the back rank.
Okay, I had actually a trap. If he takes on d5, I would take and rook takes and knight c3 was my idea. There. So knight c3 would be a very nice tactic. And the knight can't take on c3 because there is back rank. But he also saw it. <laughs> good job, good job. Mm. Maybe go here, followed by rook e3. Yeah, that was a cool tactic. <laughs> Now, can I possibly take on f3? That's the question. Mm. Takes, takes, queen f3, rook f1, queen g4, knight g2, rook... Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, 26 seconds only, and still a very, very uh, tough position, very equal position here. Oh no, blunder, blunder, blunder. This is terrible game. <laughs> this is terrible game. Okay, sorry. This was a terrible game, but in the end you have to do it. You have to play like that. Mr. Kucha, hello. Let's go. Let's keep it going. <laughs> yeah, if if the if everybody does it, come on. It's it's part of the game. When you play Blade or Bullet. <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but it's part of it. Um, I'm playing casual games. 3 plus 0 or 1 plus 0 only. So this is actually a line. So this is a part of theory. And uh, now I think it's h6 or d6. I think it's h6 first. This is actually theory. <laughs> so even though it looks like my king is misplayed, you can uh, check and there are thousands of games played in this line from black. d6. take this and uh, now we'll see we can one way we can pin this knight 
what else we can do here. There is bishop b4 check. There is bishop e6, bishop d5 something. Okay, just a moment, let me think a little. still f4 queen f6 So material is equal, so six pawns on both sides. So now, as I said, my king is a bit misplaced, but I should try to activate my pieces quickly. Wait, what is this? Um, knight g6, bishop f5, then queen d5 check, bishop e6. At least I get my bishop in there. So let's go bishop f5 first. Okay, going back. So now my bishop is developed. Let's see if I can play maybe rook e8 is possible. Or bishop f7 first and then rook e8. Or hmm. And the good thing is that the knight on h8 is trapped, so that's why I have a queen and a minor piece for two rooks. Yeah, this is glitches. <laughs> yes, John, though. Okay, let's take in check. Or there is actually a mate here. Okay, thanks for the game. GG. So I see still a lot of different um, variants and different time controls. So I'm not accepting a different variants or different time controls here. Okay, good luck. Good luck. So I'm a very um, solid positional player, so that's why I like to start with d4 and play the queen's gambit. But I also sometimes play e4, but I used to play e4. But its openings are all about understanding your style and then playing what you are most comfortable with. If you are a positional player, go for solid lines like me. If you like sharp positions, go for uh, sharp lines. You can consider even gambit lines. But most importantly, understand what you like. Thank you, Jagdish. My accent is Russian. <laughs> That, that, that's funny. My favorite opening is not King's Gambit, it's Queen's Gambit, I said. So actually the meaning of Gambit, it means that when you sacrifice a pawn in the opening, that means Gambit. So, um, it's like you're trying to have some compensation in some other form like you get the control of the center you get more peace play or you have your castling very early so it's like sacrificing a pawn in the opening for for positional advantage for positional gain 
um, yes, I have a YouTube channel, but I stream on Twitch. So you can find, you can write my name, Rucha Pujari, and find it. And yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be part of Chase Fest very soon. So I will be there. Um, now, this was an isolated queen spawn, but I have a chance to play d5 here and liquidate that weakness. But I also have knight b5, which can also be interesting. Knight b5, maybe queen b8, and um, I don't see after that. So let's just play d5 here. Yeah, there is a big difference between King's Gambit and Queen's Gambit. King's Gambit is a very sharp line, whereas Queen's Gambit is very positional and a very solid line. Because in Queen's Gambit, uh, most of the time, you regain the pawn back, even if it's accepted. Uh, Stafford Gambit is interesting, yeah, it's interesting, do try it out. And B5, Queen, B8 and D5. Yeah, I think that's also possible. You're right. Okay, bishop b5 check and uh, when you have an isolated pawn um, as black you should try to stop from exchanging it and if you're playing with the side of isolated pawn you should try your best to play the middle game because uh, isolated pawn becomes a weakness in the end game so in the middle game you will have a lot of activity because you get two open files so, your best chance would be in the middle game. Okay, I think he wants to go long gasling here. Maybe play bishop e3. Bishop e3 and then rook c1. So, we are temporarily stopping some long gasling ideas. Um, on Twitch, you can find me as ruches 27 so you see above there is my username. So if you want to find me anywhere on any socials, Twitter, Instagram, um, Twitch, anywhere, just find me as ruches 27 Yes, Ruches too sad. It's um Ruches is my first name is Rucha and it's just the combination of Rucha and Chess. And 27 is my birth date. Play D4 and go to heaven. <laughs> Yes, Carl, even I like it. Oh no, you just made a big, big blunder there. You're playing quite well so far. But now it's GG. Thank you for the game. Good luck, GM Chess Map. Missing the chat when bullet games. I'm 
being a bit greedy there. Oh, I see your little trap with knight h4. Oh, my f2. My f2 rook d8, rook d8. But it's okay, it's still... It's still a big advantage. It's still fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, GG. That was the, the queen b8. Okay, GG. In bullet, you can't you can't really have a training approach. It bullet is for fun. Okay, good luck, consultant criminal. <laughs> It says there's a question mark on his rating, so we can't really know his real strength. Let's be careful. Hello, ST Brown. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit greedy for pawns. Trying to grab the pawns there. Mm, let's... Oh, e2, e2. Mm, maybe f4 here? Let's go with f4. I will try to defend my e2 pawn as much as possible. So if knight d7, I will capture and go with e4. Bishop b7. Ah, oh. Bishop b... Oh, <laughs> my arrows, my arrows there. So terrible. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, bishop d4 is a very dangerous threat here. Okay, let's see. Knight e3 is still bishop d4. I don't like that. How to complete the development here? Let's try to get in the rook with rook a3. Because the bishop... Um, let's see, let's see. I'm a bit of trouble in here. I'm in trouble in this game. So 
so as I said, this question mark it's difficult to judge them because they can be fifteen hundred, they can be twenty five hundred. Bishop e3, still rook b2 is possible. Then rook f2 takes. Let's try, let's try. Yeah, rook b2 is interesting because then I can't take. There is a checkmate. Rook, rook g2, rook h2, and rook g2 is made. By the way, where are you all joining from in the chat? Where are you joining from? Mexico, Germany, India, Nepal. Wow. Beijing, UK, Romania, Russia, US. <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> From Turkey, greetings, North Korea. Oh, I miss, I miss this, why black miss this? Budapest, greetings, guys. Bosnia, Mumbai, Varanasi, okay now this is our game, Malaysia, we have so such a diverse um, viewers here today, greetings to, nice to see you all of you here. And it's so beautiful that chess brings us all together. So I, I believe that in this game Black had real chances to win in the middle game. Because uh, Black played really well but Rook G2 was a blunder. GG GG Thanks for the game You played really well, Consult on Criminal That was a good game Yeah, in the beginning he really played like 2500 <laughs> But then um, after that Under time pressure Got into feel, feeling the heat of the game Okay, let's keep it going Let's keep it going it's so funny when you send me correspondence challenges. I mean, what do I do with correspondence games right now here? Okay, let's play with one minute. Good luck, Mr. Me6. Yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Hello, Consul. You send them a letter. <laughs> I'm not going for the fried liver attack in bullet, so I will play this gambit line. Pretty tasty night here. Okay, 
जी 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 What's your dream job? Well, this is uh, really what I wanted to do. Since uh, since I first time learned chess ever when I was six years old, I really wanted to be a professional chess player because I really really like chess. I'm very passionate about it. So I think I'm doing what I love. I'm also I'm not just a professional player. I'm also a chess trainer and uh, a streamer. So it's like every day I um, work on chess more than ten hours. <laughs> doing all these three things together so I really enjoy it and um, it's like turning game into work so I I'm I think I'm very happy with chess James, thank you so much <laughs> because um, as in chess as in anything else um, the most important thing is that you enjoy what you're doing and then it doesn't feel like work so even if you spend a lot of hours in chess, don't count that. Just um, try to enjoy the process. Even when you're learning chess, uh, you should make sure that you are enjoying the training process, not just uh, doing it as a work. So that and also discipline, I think, is most important because um, it's not possible for anybody in, in this world to be motivated every single day. So if you have a discipline, if you push yourself to... Um, you work to to spend time and have that discipline i think you can really uh, get better in chess you can really improve your game thank you tiki if you have any questions um i will be happy to answer your questions regarding um you know training chess training if you want to have any tips on improvement feel free to ask me in the chat i will be happy to answer them I hope you write a book someday. I have written one book. <laughs> it's called as Beautiful Puzzles. But I would be happy to answer your questions. Sincerely. Okay, good luck, Raiden. Okay, let's again go with the Spanish, which is also called as the Royal Lopez. So some openings, they have different names. So as um, Royal Lopez, it's also called as Spanish opening. Italian game is also called as Gioco Piano or we have the Scandinavian also called as Centro Counter. It's not like I'm deciding, um, I'm thinking what to play, it's because in this line, I know different variations, so I'm deciding which one to play right now in this game. No, London and English are not the same opening. So London system is when you play d4, followed by bishop f4, e3, c3. And English opening starts with first move c4. So that's different there. If you know any um, any opening which has two names besides from the ones I mentioned, feel free to tell us in the chat so that we all can all can have some knowledge. But don't troll, don't troll, please. I 
King's Fianchetto, also known as the Hungarian opening. Petrov, yeah, Petrov defense is also called as Russian. Russian defense, is it? You like modern defense? Yeah, I, even I like to play the perk modern defense. It's, it's a very nice opening. Let's just go back with the bishop. So generally, professional players, what they do is that they have um, some openings as their primary openings and some openings as their secondary openings. So, secondary openings, they don't play it all the time, but use it to surprise their opponents or um, just to uh, play some different setup for that particular day. But generally, just stick with um, the primary openings. So if you're trying to improve your game, it's a good idea to have more than one opening in your repertoire. Because you may not enjoy playing the same opening every single day if you're playing a lot of games. Alapin is the Blackburn Gambit. That was a sneaky f5 and f4 and look at this beautiful pawn chain this two pawn chain it's cool If you want to get a title, you have to play in on the board tournaments. Oh no, there will be four pawns on. Four pawns on um, G file. This is actually not so easy as I thought it would be. Okay, finally a change of queens. Okay, <laughs> that was not easy end game actually. Uh, White had some counter chances there. How is Covid say in India? Yeah, it's actually pretty bad here situation. So. Let's see how it goes because again we have lockdown starting. Uh, we have already lockdown just like last year, so it's it's very tense situation. Um, while following lines in a chess book, it is better to imagine them mentally instead of playing it over when starting out. Well, um, I would advise that if you are starting to learn a new opening, first uh, try to understand the ideas then check out a lot of games played by the top players in that opening and uh, first of all play a lot of games so in the beginning it will be difficult to uh, get used to the new setup new opening but the best way is to practice it out and um, don't have to remember 
the most blindfold or something like that but try to play it out with uh, with opponents and that's the best way to learn a new opening to practice it out you can't hear me i see somebody says they can't hear me Yeah, you're right, Tanzit, that um, lockdown is actually there is a silver lining for lockdown because um, like it was good for chess, like online chess, because chess was one of the only sports which was still going online throughout this lockdown. So as, as chess players, as chess lovers, this is a silver lining for us. Okay, thank you. So let's continue. Aman, you are my opponent right now. Okay, good luck. Maybe white wants to go long castling here, let's see. Bishop e6. Long castling will make this game very interesting. <laughs> okay. Now it's not easy to predict which file is going to open up. Maybe rook d8 would have been better with the idea of d5. Maybe queen g5. Let's try queen g5 here. This is a free pawn, so. Okay, maybe white can get it back with queen f3 somewhere. create some more weakness there hmm. nice to see you here Robbie with us Yes, that's true, Gunjan. That's very true. I second you. Let's create a pawn chain. Mm. Okay, this is a very, very strong position and would be easy win now. Unless I make a silly pre move, of course. You know, eventually this is actually a Zook Swung. Yeah, so this is a Zook Swung position. Thanks for the game. Oh my 
my god so many correspondence requests <laughs> so many correspondence requests there Good luck, Davey. Hello, NRM. QGA, Queen's Gambit accepted. But as I said before, QGA is a very solid opening because most of the time, white gets the pawn back. Do you consider chess a sport or a board game? Of course it's a sport. As a Carpo, Anatoly Carpo said, it's a combination of sports art and science <laughs> hearts oh going for some fishing pool stuff there black is going for some fishing pool stuff So I know that if they go knight g4, bishop g4, and if you capture this, it's like the fishing pole trap. And then black captures, followed by queen h4 next, and it is completely winning for black. So, it's, uh, even if you don't play the opening traps, it's good to have a knowledge of these things. So that you can, fall you can avoid falling in them. Um, which chess book made the most powerful influence on you? Um, it depends because I have read a lot of books and um, right now from top of my head I would say the Dovritsky's Endgame book. Which opening is your favorite while well, playing white? Um, if I have to choose one um, I will select the Catalan system. Oh, rook d1 is just now winning material, of course, because he can't take because rook d8 is taking with a check. And maybe he missed that, that it's a check. And now I'm threatening this discovered, sneaky discovered check on h7. Yes, he sees that. But now bishop pair. Hello, Juan. No, I have not played against Magnus. <laughs> Hello, Tinal. Greetings to you. I was in Sri Lanka a few years back. A very beautiful country. Um, chess 964, today I will accept a blitz and bullet only. So for today, um, I'm accepting 3 plus 0 and 1 plus 0. How much?
much time do you spend thinking about your opponent's next move? That's actually a good question. And, um, you know, it's also important that um, many players don't do this, but it's important that you also use your opponent's time. So it's like when your opponent is thinking, it's also time to you. So if you actually think about it, 3 plus 0, you can get uh, 6 minutes. So sometimes you see players, they are playing fast, but actually they are just thinking in their opponent's time. Thanks for the game, Davy. Let's play Blastoise. Hello, Pokemon. <laughs> exactly. Is chess your full-time profession? Yes, yes. I'm a professional player, I'm a chess streamer and I'm a chess trainer. So, full-time chess. Okay, so far a very good play by Blastoise. I want to play B4. B4 is A5, I have B5. So that's fine. I play for India. Okay, knight c4, a very good square for the knight. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe knight c5? Let's see, knight c5. Hello, Nitu. Yes, I'm accepting challenges right now. Next is knight c4 coming up. So what can I do for that? Hmm. Okay, how about I play bishop f4? Or bishop yeah, bishop g5. Let's go bishop g5. I grew up in India. And now maybe bishop f4. So I know I'm creating double pawns, but I, I will also try to open up the g file in some way. Let's see. Stafford, thoughts on Stafford? Stafford is a very good opening. You can definitely try it out. e3? <laughs> so many people in chat saying I don't I don't look like Indian <laughs> come on I grew up in India I am from India okay 
okay, okay. Now it's all about time scramble. Both of us under one minute. Both of us under one minute. I don't know why Black just gave me a gift, a gift me a free pawn there. And also now the knight is no longer on, on the outpost. <laughs> okay, let's go. If you're asking for book suggestions, uh, can you specify what you're trying to learn? Because uh, there are so many books out there. So just specify if you want to learn on opening, middle game, end game. Or you want like historical books, classical books. It would be helpful. Okay, thanks for the game, Plus Toys. You played really well in the opening, but um, that knight e4 was actually a mistake. So this was a very equal position, but I don't know why you went knight e4. So very, very equal game so far. Mm. Oh my god, so many correspondents. <laughs> what do I do with them? Let's play one, one plus zero. Good luck, quarantine brain. If you're just learning out chess, I would um, suggest solve a lot of tactics. So you can find a lot of books on tactics. And um, when you're just learning tactics is a big part to, to improve your game. Thank you so much, Robbie. Thank you. Okay, GG, thanks. Go, go, go. So far, a very good score for me. Okay, good luck, Wiki.
ಹಲೋ ಅಕ್ಷಿತ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಹೋಮ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ for the game VK. Good luck, Gunank. bit risky for black that's a bit risky because now discovered attack on the queen and uh, this is very dangerous maybe i can take on e7 okay let's let's have a nice pawn chain there nice pawn chain maybe knight e4 wow look at the, the beautiful pawn chain from h2 to d6 take now i need to somehow um activate my b2 bishop i need to activate my b2 bishop some discovered checks there okay let's um let's play rook take b5 so that not letting the queen okay let's play safe we'll play safe Thanks for the game. Yeah, best punching. Good game, hero. Let's go, let's go. B3 is a bit difficult because I think B3 was possible, I don't know. Maybe yes. Bishop B2. Let's let's just stop this pawn there. Let's just stop it right there. Um let's exchange E1. So my pawns are all defended and I just need to play against the backward pawn on D6 now. Which I have played. but then i have knight b5 mm -hmm. knight g5 and now this is um positionally very big advantage and now also getting the d6 pawn next another pawn chain coming up here i should have played oh no this is not possible this was under attack um knight b5 Maybe at 6 I will go here. Anyway, here is good square. 
Unfortunately, there is no mate there. <laughs> Again, no mate. Okay, I think it must be some mate. Thanks for the game. Was it Colombia? I have never been to Colombia. Good luck, Osama. ID4 is quite annoying for white, especially for the London system players. Mm. Both taking recapture looks quite interesting there. I will go this way. what to do next um this is a free pawn thank you for that let's just defend this pawn and then bishop h3 i can still go queen g5 so the queen won't be trapped there Knight e4 can be interesting. Yeah, he found it. Mm. Oh, maybe I can take and play e5. I can play e5 there. Bishop h3, then I can take on d4 first. I can take this and then win the piece. Okay. Now the pawns will roll. Exchange will definitely favor me. Okay, thanks for the game, Osama. Good luck, SD Singh. Divya, how can I help you to increase your rating? You have to do your own work. Are you here? You look very calm while playing. I'm always stressed. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Keep calm and play chess. <laughs> yeah, it's very important because chess can be very tilting. So it's very important to keep calm. <laughs> to keep calm and to keep composure. Can you suggest an opening to work with? With which color? Who is your favorite chess player of all time? My favorite players are, um, of course, Vishyanand, then I like uh, Bobby Fischer, Kasparov. Hello, Mohamed. Okay, looks like um, ST is not here, so let's play new game.
Okay, good luck, Mathers. How to pre-move? You can uh, check your settings, Kunang. Uh, in settings, you can you have to enable pre-move. Yes, I'm reading a chat on both YouTube and Twitch. Opening with white. Um, personally, I like to play the Queen's Gambit, Catalan, and these things. But again, once again, um, let me uh, tell that it's all about trying to understand your style. So, it depends what positions you like to play. So, good idea is to try to analyze your games and um, if you want to really improve, try to play some longer games too and then try to analyze so that you can understand um, what kind of positions you like to play, what is your general style of playing and these things. Take this. White wants to go here, bishop a6. So far, excellent play by white. So far, very good. The London system is good to start with, yes. I think uh, so far it's um advantage slight advantage for white this game okay Ijen, good luck with with that Very, very equal game here. Very equal position so far. Let's see. In order to improve, is it important to play classical? No, again, um, it's like you have to do different things. So if you want to improve, if you just keep doing the same thing, then uh, you will halt at somewhere. So you have to play long games, then solve tactics, solve puzzles, analyze your own games. And of course, also to learn the theory like um, opening theory, end game theory, and so on. So the trick is that you have to balance your training. Very, very equal position so far. Good fight by Matters. Okay, let's take the back rank first. Come on, come on. I want to be able to control the C file, so I'm going back so that I can play rook c8 there. Maybe knight b6, knight c4 can be interesting. Okay. b3 not possible because of a3. I will try to sneak in a5 and a4 if I get a chance. So time situation now under control. Under control, um, let's take this. Let's take this. Okay. 
very equal position. Hmm. How do you break this? But I'm a little bit happy about my peace activity here. But yeah, it's, as I said, it's very equal. Trying to create some imbalance here. Trying to create some imbalance. Okay, but very good game by Matters, and I think that this is a very equal end game and a very very droid. So let's let's congratulate Matters for such a great fight here. Hello, Priest Temple. Greetings to you. Yes, guys, don't forget to um, applaud those players who play well and give a good fight. Let's let's motivate them. GG matters. <laughs> Guys, do you look on the stream right there? Okay, I don't think you see that. But um, most of my challenges are correspondence games. Good luck, lost memories. Very melancholic username. <laughs> Yay, Robbie! Yay, Gogo! I see some new cats there in your in your emotes. Go back to C2. Mm -hmm. Maybe first group B, group B1. Which is Cat Gambit? Can you tell me? I, I don't think I have heard about it. <laughs> Those memories, voice of pain. <laughs> Yes, I do play followers. He forces his opponents to draw by telling them his cat is sick and needs to take it to <laughs> We have to take coaching from coach or a book. Well, I would say both. But you have to choose from both. So even if you're um, even if you're having a chess coach, even if you're learning from a coach, it's important that you do also work on your own, not just be dependent on them. So even if you're taking training, um, do use your time to learn from books and um, I believe your coach will be very happy if you put in more work. C4 takes. Take, take. Let's go C4. You like the poster, yes? Keep calm and play chess. C4 
some tricks coming up here. Maybe we will just play the closed way. Let's just close the position. Thank you, Falcusen. Thank you for such kind words. That's a good move, B6. Good move. Mm. B6 uh, might be a little bit too much. Mm. What else? Maybe we have Bishop D2. Bishop D2, let's see. <laughs> Actually, what do you mean? Play some tricks, please. <laughs> You mean gambits or what do you mean? What do you think of b3 bishop b2 opening for white? It's it's actually a good opening, but I would um, suggest like have also another opening in your repertoire, not just b3. So it can be a very strong secondary opening, I can say. Okay, that's a good move. Knight d2 once again. Mm. Black playing pretty well here. Not falling into any of my tactics. Yes, I have a streaming channel on Twitch. So you can find me on Twitch as ruchas 27 No joke chess is here. Hello, no joke chess. And now some back rank coming up here. Yeah, back rank. Queen of eight and then rook of eight. Okay, rook of eight. This uh, playlist is by um, an Australian musician, Alan Gopo. You can find on Spotify. Oh no, I'm talking and <laughs> I'm under time pressure here. Thank you for the game, Lost Memories. Thank you. Is it okay to play E4 or D4 always? Yeah, E4 and D4 both are very solid openings. So you can pick either one. Hello, Twitchy Michi. It is, um, let me check on Spotify. It is um, Alan G O G O L L. Yeah, that was the GG. So uh, for now, I will be um, stopping on leeches here, so I will continue to accept challenges on my channel. So thank you once again, everybody, for, for joining here today. It was a pleasure to play against all of you and also to talk to you in the chat. You have been fantastic audience today and also very, very strong um, players um, in the challenges. So see you guys. and. Uh, if you want to continue to challenge me, you can. You are free to visit my channel on Twitch. It is Ruchess27, and I will see you all there. And of course, a big thank you to Leeches for inviting me today as a guest in their Leeches Play series. And um, it's it's fascinating. Um, and also, a big thank for Le a big thank you to Leeches for for this website. And I really, really enjoy playing on Leeches. And I can say it is it is my favorite website there out there. And also they are having a public source supporting everybody. And um, 
do feel free to support Leeches because it is giving us all so much. So see you all and I hope you all have a good rest of your day, good rest of your evening and uh, please stay safe guys and to keep enjoying chess as always. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for all the love. Thank you. And I will be back here sometime soon. So you will meet me again. I'm here. Let's have a raid. And then we'll continue.